Chris from the Plane Learning Team at Eureka. And today, I've got a couple of science experiments for you to have a go at at home. They're all about our eyes and how they see the world around you. When you're looking at objects around you, you can imagine there's a triangle with your eyes. You've got the base of the triangle between your eyes, and then you've got two lines coming out of your eyes towards the object you're looking at. And the object you're focusing on, that's where the third point of the triangle is. So if you're looking at something very far away, you've got quite a long, thin triangle towards that object. If you're looking at something quite close, you've got quite a short, fat triangle. But for a lot of people, your triangle isn't perfectly even. It's got a straighter edge. And that's because you've got a dominant eye. And you can find out if you've got a dominant eye and which one is your dominant eye really easily. What you need to do is you need to focus on an object really far away. So I'm looking out of the window behind the camera and I can see a telegraph pole in the distance. And I'm focusing on that telegraph pole and using one finger as best you can while still focusing on that object in the distance, you want to cover it. Now it'll look a bit weird because you'll have kind of a ghostly double vision of your fingers, but cover it as best you can. Once you've done that, what you need to do is close one eye leaving one open, and then switch. Close the other, leaving one open. And when you do that, your finger will jump. You'll only see one finger, but it won't be in the same position as before, exactly. So for me, when I leave my left eye open, my finger stays pretty much covering that object. But when I have my right eye open, that finger jumps. It's nowhere near covering that object. And that's because my left eye is my dominant eye. My left eye is the one that leads slightly. So see if you can work out what's your dominant eye, if you've got one. But when you're doing that, you can see a kind of weird double vision of your fingers. In fact, you can play around with that. Again, focusing on an object far away. It doesn't need to be really far away for this one, so you can pick something a little bit closer. So I'm picking something on the windowsill. All right, you want to focus on that object, and then you want to pull your fingers up like this, with your fingertips touching until it's just below the object you're looking at. So you're still focusing on that object really far away. And you should see something strange. You kind of, well, you're seeing sausage fingers. You've got a weird extra bit of finger connecting the two in the middle. And if you pull your fingertips apart slightly, you get kind of a weird floating bit of finger between your two normal fingers. And that's because of that triangle of vision, because you're focusing on that object far away, but you've put something in between. Your brain's kind of seeing two different things when it comes to your fingers, and it's kind of mushing that image together. So you see that weird little floating bit of finger, or sausage fingers. So there you go. There's two little eye experiments for you to have a go at at home. So see if you can work out which is your dominant eye, and see if you can see some sausage fingers. There you go. Have fun. <laughs>